Today I'm going to show you how to replace a uh, in sync aerator, which is this puppy here. Um, uh, basically, what happened is that there's a long story. Um, uh, our aerator broke, our in sync aerator, and I'm going to show you what happened to it. So, this is the new one that we purchased, so we're, we're going to get to it in a few moments. But let's take a look at what happened to our uh, old one here. So, if you take a look at it, we got the really nice shiny light here. So, if you take a look at it, um, ours cracked right here, right here, there's another crack here, and another crack here. So, um, this unit is five years old. Um, uh, it has a one year warranty, but um, we're kind of, this is kind of unexpected. Even though this is plastic, um, it cracked, and uh, there's water leaking out, so there's a lot of like water here whenever we do use the, uh, this unit here. So our mission today is we're gonna take this off, we're gonna remove all the, all the pieces, which, <clears throat> there we go, we're gonna remove that later. Uh, we're gonna move all of these pieces as well as replace this bottom portion here. Um, uh, so we'll remove all of this, and then we'll go ahead and install this brand new unit that we got. Um, uh, let me pick it up again. So it's an American Standard um, uh, from Costco, it's like 89 bucks. Um, uh, one, one, and a, one and a quarter horsepower versus our like, um, like weak sauce, uh, third of a horsepower. But anyways, that's pretty cool. It has like, it came with the whole top situation here. So we're gonna like take the top from that one off, replace it with this one, and uh, hopefully plug and play operation. So let's get started. Um, uh, first things first, um, you need to make sure that you have a box of potatoes on the side. The box of potatoes are there for integrity purposes. So they must be there. You must have at least 10 pounds in order to, for this operation to actually go through successfully. Um, at the end, if you like, if you miss the step at the end, you might think why your unit's not working. Like, well, there you, there you have it. That's why it's not working. So first step is unplug your old operation, right? So once you have it unplugged, test it to make sure it doesn't turn on. So we have this thing called sync. So we turned it on. It's not working. So you know for sure your fingers are, won't get like ripped out or whatever. So we're trying to avoid that today. So safety first here. So okay, let's start removing by this uh, magical thing that you've not seen me um, uh, plug in before. Um, so we remove that. So that's all set. Let's go and unscrew this unit. Okay, so that's unscrewed. And now our big step is to actually remove um, this facility. So how you remove it is by unscrewing these two screws or bolts right here. So it's a, it's a regular like standard uh, screwdriver that we need. Um, a flathead. So from this side and the other side as well. So you take a look at it. It's this side and the other side. So let me go ahead and get some equipment and I'll be right back. All right, got a screwdriver. So let's get started. All right, so now that we're done, I guess we gotta like, pull, ooh, yeah. it's gross. So kind of pull it out. And notice how it's disconnected. There's like a gap in there, if you see that. So now we're pretty clear and free to go ahead and remove this, remove this whole unit. So what we do is uh, pretty easy. All we have to do is shift this whole unit and turn it clockwise. And that's gonna disconnect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So... So, huh. yeah, we got a, we need a, like a hammer or something. So let me try this again and see if it works. Boy, oh yeah. So to make this easier, we'll just remove this whole facility operation. Try to see if we can uh, auto adjust. There we go. So we twist this and right now it's just gonna drop. So we're gonna make sure we put it on this towel all right all right there's some like peeing operation and there you have it so we took this unit off um 
we're gonna take it outside because it stinks and uh, actually if you take a look at it you can see what's going on but there's a lot of cracks there's a crack here so there's a crack there crack here so back to the original crack here a crack here like it's really beat up i don't know like what happened here but it's definitely not cool and like look at that it looks disgusting like ugh. so yeah so i'll take this outside and i'll be back and we're back so as you can see like i'm under the sink here it's actually really nice and comfortable so this area is open so if we go down here we can look at the operation let me show you what i see here okay so i'm under the sink so here we have a really nice um uh, bolt on area or whatever this is and then i need a flathead here and unscrew this piece and then make it all loose so i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right where's my screwdriver Man, it's so comfortable. If I could sleep here for days, I would. All right, so next step is you kind of jab it up in order for this to like move around and what you do is if you look there's like a ring here so all you have to do is just pull this ring down remove the ring like that to take it down so what this is going to do is going to allow this piece to come down and then just slowly work your way and start removing layer after layer so this is the, another metal holder so remove that, there's like another seal, so we'll remove this seal. So just because our kit has one, we're not gonna reuse this. Plus I don't, like if your kit doesn't have it, I wouldn't recommend reusing it. And we'll just push this up. So notice as we push it up, our whole sink area is, is basically completed. So we got this area here, there you go. So this whole area is complete and we got this this unit here so now we're done so if we look at it from the top now um, you can see that there's a lot of the plumber's putty that's left over so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this off um, so then we can prepare for a new new putty as well so let's go ahead and do this so what I'll do is I'll scrape it off like that So now we've got the plumber putty right here. Basically we got this from uh, my dad's house and it's for free. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some putty out. So this is kind of old putty, but we'll make it work. So when you're dealing with putty, uh, make sure you have disposable gloves cause this is like oil based. And uh, unless you want your hands to like look disgusting or oily. I would highly recommend putting on some good gloves. Some gloves that like will protect you on the long run. Remember long-term success is critical for this operation. All right, so glove number one on. So let's go for glove number two. All right, so we got gloves on. So this is perfect. So now we're gonna, just because it's an older, older putty, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove and use from the bottom and then possibly, actually there's still some good use that we can do in the future. So anyways, the, yeah, this one's pretty soft on the bottom. So just because it's kind of older, we're gonna be using the bottom one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of play with it like this. So have like a, like a Play-Doh operation. 
you know, make a penis out of it, kind of like this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make it thinner and thinner. So we're going to make it thinner and thinner. So kind of like that. So make it like a snake or a worm or like a thin snake. Or like... So anyways, yeah, you need kind of like maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Because um, if you're going to have extras, the cool thing about extras is you don't have to use it. Um, it'll just like seep out. And then all you have to do is just scrape it off, right? So it's not a permanent thing. So I think that's more than enough. So make it thin, kind of rub it in. As long as it's thin like this, then you got it. So now we're gonna put this operation in like this. Okay, so that's pretty thick. So we need a little thinner, guys. Um, so kind of, you know, do whatever works. Um, whatever you think is easier. Because definitely this method is a little snaky, snaky operation. All right, so let's pop this in like this. So like I said, don't worry if it's too fat or whatever is gonna happen, you're still gonna squeeze it in and the extras, the excess will seep out and you can just cut it off here on top. Anything on the bottom, you really don't have to worry about, it's gonna be hidden, but you can also cut it off on the bottom. So okay, let's make it flat like that. There we go, perfect. So make sure there's no holes or anything, just fully covered. So water is not gonna go through. Okay, perfect. So we're pretty much done with that stuff. Let me go ahead and put this away. Have some good extras that we can utilize in the future. We'll put that on top for secrecy protection services. So this thing is basically whatever we took off, but now we're gonna put it on the opposite way. So if you notice, this is all pretty much put together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start removing it similar to what we had before. So there's this ring that we're gonna start removing. So we remove the ring and now everything else can be removed, right? So we're gonna slowly start removing. So let's do that here. Slowly put that away. There we go, like that. And there's also this ring. So this goes on the bottom of your sink. So this is the top area, so let's go and pop it in. So this is the top here, you know, bloop. There we go, kind of push it down, press it a little bit, make sure you create a form out of your putty. So now, as you have a little groove, um, you should be fine there. So don't forget, this thing we're gonna scrape off, so don't worry about it. So now, let's push it up from the bottom. So what we're gonna do is push this thing, there we go, and now, this one and now this thing I'm sure these these things have like specific names whatever but uh, we don't care all right so that's perfect so now we're gonna like now that this thing is moving and we have all that flexibility now we have to hold it so if you haven't done so already take off your gloves because it's super slippery. But just because I'm a pro, I've done this so many times, I'm just gonna keep my old gloves on for a little bit until I give up. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, all right, so now we got it. All right, so now let's look on the top, make sure we didn't like remove anything. So, okay, so now I press it in a little more and we got this. So now we're gonna now we're gonna take a screwdriver just because this is a Phillips area so now we're just gonna pop all this in one at a time all right so that's a little done great so apply a little pressure not too much right now we're just trying to make sure it goes on top so now that all of them are kind of pretty much done We'll add a little, a little bit of pressure on each one. 
make sure there's enough support. Don't overdo it. Don't break your sink or anything, but make sure it's tight enough where if you do move it, it doesn't like wobble around. So let's look from the top and make sure that all this putty, there we go. So all this putty has been, has been weaseled out. There we go. So let's make sure it's flush. If you think it's flush, then it's good to go. I'll try to try to push in a little more or try to screw it in a little more and see if it changes anything. So that should give it just a little bit more pressure. So now, there we go. We'll remove all of this as well. All right, perfect. All right, and it's still oozing out. That's how good we did it. And we're gonna keep it like this. And this should do it. All right, now if you kind of move around, notice that it's not going anywhere. It's pretty solid and nothing to worry about here. So, perfect. So this we're gonna clean out um, as we deal with it. So notice it's still coming out, so that's great. So that means we're, we're on the right track here. So, okay, so our next step is putting on the unit. So if you look at this, how these are actually built and how you, you're supposed to put on the unit, you put on the unit from the, the lower elevation and then you screw it in counterclockwise right into the higher elevation here. So you go from the bottom up and you're pretty much set. So that should, uh, that should do it. So let's grab this unit. And this unit has a movable um, uh, kind of like capsule area here, which would allow you to actually screw it in at any time or while your unit is in any direction, which is pretty awesome. So let's go and try that. All right, so this sucker's heavy. All right, all right, cool. So, okay, so we kind of lifted it. Um, notice if it's on the bottom here. Um, you're able to move the bottom area here, right? So you kind of move it around, and then if you want to tighten it, then you just do the top area, right? So right now we're kind of going to let it down so then we can move around and try to actually install the side area. So the side area, basically, you install this unit back in. Uh, what we're going to do, just because we have the new, the new one that came with this one, we're going to install this one. So this new one came with the box um, and uh, it's uh, definitely not going to fit in. So if you plug this in, we have to cut this area. Okay, so what we're going to do is just because um, if we actually push this all the way in um, and we have an elbow here, we have to cut this tube. Um, because at this point we're like an inch or half an inch higher than what we should be able to. So we should cut the tube to make a seam uh, in the same size that we removed it before. Um, and then we can try to squeeze it in and try to um, put it in here, which we might have an issue as well. So this is, how, how is this made? So this is a rubber piece. So if we remove this rubber piece, and then install this rubber piece on the old one. Can we make this work? So, okay. So what I did is I removed, so of course this is a larger elbow, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the old elbow, even though it's kind of stinking gross, but whatever is the drain, right? And I took off this rubber seal. So if you have a rubber seal, make sure you install it and remove from the old one. Try to plug it into the new one. So then you can have really nice seal here. So what we're gonna do is plug it in like this. If you look at it, there's like a groove inside. So we have to fit this PVC pipe into the groove. There we go. So perfectly sealed, awesome. So what we're gonna do is try to plop it in. Try to flip it, 
flip it for the mythit. All right, so obviously not working. All right, so notice that it dropped. So that's a good thing. That means that we can um, screw it in again. That's what it means. So let's pop it in again. All right, so let's keep this flat like this and try to squeeze it in and So, yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, but before we do this, just because we are pretty confident this is going to work, we're going to put in this uh, new technology in, right? So just because we got some new equipment, we're going to install this. So let's pop this in. Oh, great, now we got the Phillips, which is amazing, easier to screw and unscrew, so thank you, company, for making that. So we'll go ahead and... Perfect. We're gonna pop this in like this, like so, and then we're gonna put in this area. Perfect. So this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Um, all right. So this is gonna be perfect. Okay. So let's try to do this again. All right, so pretty sure this is how we do it. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Okay, so I think we did something wrong. I think this thing is supposed to go inside, not outside. So what I'm thinking is I did the rubber piece incorrectly. So what I'm thinking what should go in is, no, I think that's correct. I was thinking like putting it the opposite way, but now, so how is this gonna screw in? It's like this. I guess that's how it works. And then these are just long enough to just grab in, squish these puppies. But what's the point of having this then? Makes it more difficult to install. But then again, it should just go in. There's a... Okay, so good thing that we dropped it again. Now we can see everything perfectly without really thinking about this. So, okay, so we got this notch here, right? So, so our plan is to put this thing inside the notch. So if we kind of play around with it, if we squeeze it in, is it going to go in? That's the question. All right, so... So if you work hard enough at it, it kind of squeezes it in. Nope, it does not. So, why not? That is the question. So let's take this off and try to plug it in, maybe gently with a light touch. Unless this thing is somehow, yeah, this tube is a little smaller actually. Hmm. So let's just plug this in here. So this goes in normally. Yeah, the tube is a little smaller actually on this this other one. It's a little thinner if you look at it. See, there's like a extra extra padding that should not be there. So let's try to flip it over. The other way, so if we do it like this, because what we're trying to do is we're we want to avoid changing this pipe, right? So that's our plan. Okay, so that's all plugged in. 
then we okay so this one goes in fairly nicely yeah this one goes in fine this way but we need to put it gently so it doesn't like force it out somewhere so let's let's try this approach so we're putting in our our units back in plugging it here right and then we're gonna slowly try to put it all together Okay, so we got, we're in a good place right now. So with this setup, this is gonna be a little crooked or like this, right? So kind of going sideways so the question is are we going to keep it sideways um as an expert plumber um i say yeah we should definitely keep it sideways so let's keep it sideways so all we have to do though is just like kind of like fix this area so let me keep on working on this Push this in. So the problem that we're having is this plastic piece. It's kind of in the way. So we're gonna jerry rig this area. Try to stick it in either way. for good so now we're gonna screw it in here but before we do that we want to make sure this unit doesn't fall off so I'm gonna twist it in a little more make sure that it's not going anywhere so now let's screw this puppy in so like I said we got like these really nice bolts in so so even though you gotta kind of prep it and start it without a screwdriver but just because I do have a screwdriver here I will take advantage of this opportunity to screw it in and now we're gonna screw in the other one so okay so we got a great seal right now so all we got remaining is 
laundry room in this area to minimize the stink. All right, it's looking solid. So now let's finish this off by tightening it. So if you look at it, kind of twist it around, you know, hit it, you should be fine, right? So and that should do it actually. Um, uh, so that's it. So notice the putties here. If you want to scrape it off, you can you can do so. Um, this area, so notice how I'm scraping it off. Just go and wipe it off. Um, we have a really cool um, uh, part of the the set. There's like magnets or circular uh, magnets that came with uh, with this aerator. So what we're going to do is this actually plugs in into this area. So what it does is. If you have a fork or some silverware that's going down the drain that shouldn't be going down the drain, this is going to block it and it's going to stop it. So then what you have to do is just, oh, pull out the silverware and you're pretty much set. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten it like that. And uh, there's like a little notch area, kind of clip it in and you're pretty much set. So we'll push it out like that it out of view and there you have it so our last bit is we need to install our this one came from our dishwasher so we're gonna push this back on there we go and we gotta screw it in there we go it's not gonna go anywhere so but the cool thing so now we got to test it we got to try it out so we got this facility Let's plug it in. We got a power outlet in the rear. Like so. And then just because there's some extra cord here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it back up so it won't be in the way. So we'll kind of keep it in the back, uh, nonchalant. And keep this area secure less opportunity for this to be unplugged for peace of mind there we go what a beauty all right so even though it's sideways we should be golden all right so and if you look at it just because we've been messing around there's been more and more um this putty out and about make sure you don't throw it in i really think that'd be a problem all right, so if you look at it, there's some good, uh, good stuff. So ours also came with like a, like a thing that protects your utensils or you know bigger particles to enter your, um, your sink or your aerator. So we're gonna plug this in for protection. All right, there we go. There was like a really nice groove, and we got like a little plug. So just because it's the first time that we're turning it on, we're gonna keep the plug there because I don't want anything to like jump out or whatever. So let's test it. So there's uh, some form of noise. It's kind of scary, but I'm, I'm. I think that's normal, guys. But don't worry about it. So that's cool. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. Um, so I'm hoping that you can accomplish the same thing. Just one step at a time and you got it. So yeah, what we did is we took the old unit out because it was broken, it was leaking. We put on the new unit, uh, we tested it, we made sure it was fine, and we're pretty much set. So easy schmeasy. So what we're gonna do next offline is we're gonna clean this area up and start using our aerator. So thank you for watching, have a great day.